Hey everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you my 12 top tips on how to get bells. Bells are used for lots of things in Pocket Camp. You may want more bells to craft items for the happy home room or craft items requested by animals or to craft items that are limited time or reissued that you really, really like and want for your campsite. Bells are also used for some maps. You'll need 30,000 bells just for one roll of the dice. Or maybe you want bells to pay off the loan when you expand your camper van. No matter what you need bells for, today I'm going to show my 12 top tips to get bells so you'll soon be building up that bank balance. So my first tip is simple, log in daily to get a bonus. On certain days, this will include bells. Even if you don't have time to play the game, Logging in daily will ensure you build up those bonuses and get rewarded for it. So the first thing I do after I log in is request help to get in Shovel Strike Quarry. If you do this early enough in the day, by the end of the day you should be allowed in. Even if you're mining for essences, the reward will include bells. You have 5 attempts to find gold, silver, rubies or sapphires with gold giving the biggest reward and sapphires the smallest. Go to Pete's parcel service and select request from visiting campers. They will give you rewards for items they request and these rewards will include bells. If you're missing a few items that they want, you can quickly gather fruits or insects to get more rewards. And popping balloons will also help. Campers will move on in a few hours and others will visit, meaning you have a chance to get more bells from these visitors later on. Go to your campsite and there will be animals who want to speak to you. Chat with these animals and they will give you a gift, which includes bells and other items. Every time you chat with animal friends, fulfill requests through Pete's parcel service, or give an animal a snack, you can increase your friendship level and get a heart added to your player level. Every time you reach a new level, you get a thousand bells. When you first start playing, you need five hearts to level up, but as you progress, this will get harder until you get to level 43 and you'll need 20 hearts to level up each time. If you'd like me to do a video all about leveling up, let me know in the comments. Every day you'll have some simple goals to complete, such as giving someone kudos, listing something in your market box, or just eating a fortune cookie. Every time you complete one of these tasks, you can get 500 to 1000 bells. So you could easily get around 5000 bells every day just doing this. Collect fruit, bugs, fish and shells daily. These are literally free money. As well as being able to use these to fulfill animal requests, you can also sell these items by listing them in your market box, which other players can buy for bells. Some bugs, fish and shells are worth more than others. In addition to apples, oranges, peaches, pears and cherries, your island will either have grapes, lemons or lychees. These fruits have higher prices and other players may wish to buy them as their villagers like them more. Perfect fruit are also worth more. I've recently found that you can shake one of the trees that doesn't produce fruit and it will give you bells. You just need to find out which one this is as it seems to change and it doesn't work every day. When you pass a happy homeroom class, you get bells included as a reward. The better you do, the better the rewards. You have four vouchers to use every day and you can still pass even if you don't have all the items needed. So it's worth using them and just giving it a go to try and get more bells. If you're taking part in the garden events, try the event rooms as you usually have at least one of the items needed for the rooms. You can use a bunch of bells map to get bells. You can get a bunch of bells map from completing animal requests, from popping balloons or from Gulliver's ship. Use your friend powder to roll the dice and travel through the map to get bells along the way and reach the final bell goal at the end. Sometimes an animal will ask you to look for something they have lost. When you're out and about on the islands, you may find a book or a bottle, which is the lost item. 
Go back to your campsite and one of the animals will come and speak to you. Thanking you for your help and giving you a reward which will usually include bells. As well as listing items in your market box, you can sell items in your pockets by clicking on them, pressing sell and deciding how many of each item you'd like to sell. Some items such as fish and bugs are big ticket items with a lot of bells. I would recommend looking through these and selling the big ticket items before you accidentally give these away through builders requests with Parcel Pete. You may be able to get more for your items through your market box and sell them directly, but this way you get the bells far more quickly. As you can see here, I will get 3,000 bells for selling 5 frogfish from my pockets, but earlier I could get up to 6,000 bells by selling in my market box. You can also sell seeds, flowers, event material and gyrodites from past events. But remember, you won't be able to get these items back again, so be sure that you really want to sell them. But these probably won't be used in future again. If you have clothes, accessories or furniture you want to sell, you can do this by talking to Timothy or Mabel at the marketplace. They will only give you a fraction of the bells it cost you to craft the item, and if you received an item in a cookie, you may not be able to get that item again in the future. However, if there are some items you really don't want in your pockets, or if you have duplicate items, you can sell them in the marketplace. So that's my 12 top tips to get bells. If you like this sort of content or if this helped you, please like and subscribe so I know you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all again next time.